Well, our food and drink industry in Scotland is booming because of our food producers and the many good food companies we have in this country and, of course, the worldwide demand now for Scottish food and drink produce, which ranges from Scotch whisky, of course, to the Abroath Smoky, and I'm learning about the process behind that today here near Abroath. And Ian Spink is a small business, continuing that tradition of the Abroath Smoky, which has got protected status. So there's a whole range of products coming from Scotland, and we're very, very lucky to have that basket of famous food and drink products. It's fantastic news for Scotland that that industry is now worth just below £14 billion. Pounds. That's massive to Scotland. It's huge success. It's growing success. That's a 40% increase in the value of the sector since 2007 alone. So it's really good news for Scotland. We're in the village of Icmithy now, just three miles north of Arbroath on the coast. And this is the true home of the Arbroath Smoky. This is where it all started. And the Viking settlers landing on these shores all these hundreds of years ago brought with them their fish preservation skills and it's evolved and adapted over the years to become the Arbroath Smoky as we know now. I'm the only one doing the Arbro Smokies in the truly original way now. I'm using the old barrel casks that I used to use before, smoked in the, in the ground over a hardwood log fire, um, and it's just exactly as it was done hundreds and hundreds of years ago. It's simply the best way as well to do it. We've, we've, we've tried using modern kilns costing hundreds of thousands of pounds, and they can't come close to what a 20 pound whiskey barrel can do. I travel around many markets and fairs and, and games and shows, and like you say, and and make them on site and demonstrate to people just how it used to be done and best of all that allows them to then try it at its very best straight out of the fire. So it's seen as an alternative to the usual hot dogs and burgers and things you can buy at the shows. So it's a real traditional Scottish fast food.